So this plant is known as Philodendron callosum. And if you look very closely at the leaves, callosum stands for calloused or kind of uh, thick and bumpy. And you could see that these leaves, if I show you a little bit more close, um, closely, has this kind of rough texture, which I absolutely love. Anything that has a little bit more textural element to the plant just makes it uh, that much more interesting. Now this plant is native to South America, so you would find it within kind of like Brazil, Venezuela, Guyana, maybe the Guianas, um, that, that whole area. And you could see that it's not really, at least the way that it's been growing for me over the last three, three and a half years, is that it's not really a climber. It looks like it's just more scandent um, and that it could have a little bit more of a bushy growth. I love the leaves of this plant though, I have to say. It's very thick. I don't know if you could actually see that quality here. And actually the, the plant is um, spewing out some sticky material that was probably for uh, some kind of symbiosis for maybe ants uh, to come and protect the plant. So this one does have a tendency to like leave some sticky sap. So if you have this on a cherished piece of furniture, then I would definitely say move it to some place, like maybe on your like plastic Ikea furniture, if you will. So this one is growing in just some regular potting mix. I mean, most of the time with my potting mix, I will add a little bit more perlite because I do like to have a little bit more of a well-draining mixture, but regular potting medium is going to be totally A-OK -okay for this. I am growing this completely under a grow light. So my Soltec Solution grow light, I have it um, facing towards this. And so, and it's been growing extremely well. I find that that grow light works so well for so many plants and it doesn't get really hot. Very different from one of my fluorescent light bulbs that I have where my plants have a tendency to grow up towards the fluorescent light bulb and the fluorescent light bulb gets super hot and will sometimes burn the growing tips of my plants if I'm not careful and I, I'm not watching it on a regular basis. But anyway, back to this plant. As far as fertilizing goes, uh, giving it like a 20-20-20 or a 10-10-10 if you're going the more synthetic route, or if you wanna focus a little bit more on the greenness of leaves, if you see some of that yellowing of the leaf and then it might be maybe a magnesium deficiency or you might not have enough nitrogen in there, so you might wanna give it like a 20-10-10 or a 2-1-1 if you're going the organic route. Um, and, uh, and you could give it some micronutrients as well, but I haven't had to really baby this plant. It's, a, it's an incredible plant, obviously a very good grower. Um, haven't had any pest pressures whatsoever with my philodendrons. Philodendrons, I think, um, in general, are, are very good. You know, you might get maybe some thrips here and there, um, maybe some spider mites, but I haven't had so much issue. I'd love to hear if you're growing this plant though in your home and what your experiences are because these are obviously my experiences and they might be different from yours. Um, propagation, as you could see, there's like these adventitious roots right here and you could just kind of clip one of those off or do kind of like a, a tip cutting right here and, uh, and propagate that up very readily. If you wanna know a little bit more information about that, I have some great propagation videos up on Plant One On Me as well. But otherwise, this is Philodendron Colossum.